How's it going? I'm off to load the Black Police Department. How you doing? Did you think you were safe in the liquor store parking or drive through man? No, this is where I'm coming. Uh, you got a headlight out, bro. You got your license on you? Yes, sir. You got an ID on you? No, sir, I don't. You don't? Thank you. What's your first and last name, ma'am? Go yeah, six. mom and dad um at home do they know you're out with a 29 year old man at a liquor store plastered drunk uh yes sir you do that i mean i can call them if i have my phone but i don't have anything with me right now what's mom's name i don't have the same last name because my mom got married to me. that that's my stepdad it's fine all right and they're at home right now Yes, Do you sir. know either one of their numbers? Uh, 305. 4 is that mom or dad? That's my mom. Okay. I'm calling her mom. I will call, I'll join back in a minute. Hello, this is Officer Lowe with the Flacco Police Department. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, sir. Is this Shannon? Yes. Hey, Shannon, so I'm out here with Morgan. Um, are you aware of where Morgan is right now? No, sir, I'm not. Okay, is there any reason Morgan should be out at 1 o'clock in the morning with a 29-year-old man at a liquor store? Uh, and she's no, absolutely drunk? No, sir. Okay, uh, um... The sheriff's department got Morgan up somewhere at a uh, liquor store with a 20-year-old 29? She's in Palak. 29 year old At Dean Still. At Dean Still. Fuck. Fuck. I have no idea. Right, she, she, said, just, she claims y'all were aware of it. We were aware that she was going out with a friend, is what she told us. Yeah, well, she and just, that she was going to stay the night with her friend tonight, and we were saying, well, okay. After she was coming back, she said, no, she was going to hang out. Are you guys familiar with uh, Matthew? Yes, sir. I'm not aware of that name. Well, that's the man Officer she's with. Um, how far do you guys live from... From a I live out in the Lake Estates in Interlocking. Okay, is there any way anybody can come and pick her up? Um, uh, babe, can you go pick her up, please? Yes, sir, my husband's coming. Okay, because I'm not comfortable letting her leave as drunk as she is with a 29-year-old man and her being a child. Yeah, no, I agree. I don't approve of that either. Okay, we're currently in the Dean Still drive through um, so if you guys could right. try and get here in a reasonable amount of time, please. Yes, sir. Uh, my husband's getting dressed right now. He's coming from Interlock and Lake Estates. Okay, is there a phone number I can reach him at if I need to get in contact with him? Yes, sir. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. I've got her sitting out here on the, the curb, um, and I'm still on a traffic stop with him right now, so I'm just waiting on him to get here. Yes, sir. Okay, thank uh, you so much. I'm uh, sorry. All right. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Well, Mom and Dad, uh, allege they have no idea that you're out with a grown man. 
at 1 o'clock in the morning. They said you were supposed to be at a friend's house or something. Yeah, he was taking me to my friend's house. Okay, well, Dad's on his way to pick you up. So, uh, y'all aren't going anywhere until they get here. So, just hang tight right there. Hey man, do me a favor and just step out and talk to me for a second. That's good. Right there. You want to just step out and talk to me for a second? I'm just talking to you right here. Okay, well... You're not under arrest or anything, um, but just before I ask anything, I'm going to go ahead and read you your rights, just to cover the bases. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, won't be appointed to you. Do you understand these rights? They've been read to you. Yes, Having these rights in mind when you talk to me? Yes, okay, dude, you're 29 years old. You're riding around with a 17-year-old girl who's clearly intoxicated in a liquor store drive through What the heck? I don't know. She said she wanted Dr. Pepper. So you came to a liquor store to get Dr. Pepper? No, I came for Crown. Me. I'm grown. So what's the deal with her? Where where, where did she come into all this? I, well, I live behind my mom's house, and she was over there with my friend. She said she needed to get some drinks. So I told her I was going to get you a Dr. Pepper. That's what she wanted. Okay, so y'all came here because she wanted Dr. Pepper, and you I went Crown? Yeah, yes, sir. Is there any reason you only go to the store first before coming here? No, just time limit. Just a time limit? Yes, sir. Okay. Is there anything illegal in the car? No. Is there any weed in here? Um, I'm, just be honest. I have my car, so I may have some. That's fine. Um, so there is a possibility of marijuana being in the car? Uh, there could be, because I do have okay. my car. So okay. That's there fine. Is a possibility. Um, I'm not sure, though. All right. So do me a favor, man. Um, just go ahead and step out. I'm not putting you in cuffs. You're still not going to jail or anything like that. Um, I feel like I need to step out. Huh? No, like you need, need to step out because I'm going to search the vehicle. What? Huh? For marijuana. You don't have to reach for anything. Well, reach anything you want to. Huh? That's, that's right fine. Here, with my name on it. Okay. That's, that's still perfectly fine, but I'm still going to need you to step out the vehicle, man. One bubble 39. Can you send me a 35? It's not optional at this point, man. I need you to step out. Huh? Okay, so this is going to go one of two ways. You're going to step out and I'm going to search the vehicle, or you're going to step out and go to jail. I don't understand that. Okay, I'm going to say this one more time. Either you step out now, or you go to jail. Don't make it more difficult than it needs to be, man. Step out the vehicle. Now. Ah, Get no, out of the car. No. Why are you rolling the window up? Ow. Get out of the car. You just shot me with tasers, bro. Taser deployed. Get out the car. Step out. All right. Now. God damn. You don't roll the window up when I tell you to step out the car, man. Get out the car. Get that. Get out the car. Okay. Gosh, don't, bro. Out the car. I'll get my phone. Get out the car. I'll get my phone. I don't look. Quit reaching. I'm not reaching for nothing. Get out the car. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get out the car. I'm not in the car. Stop resisting I'm now. I'm not resisting. Stop. I'm resisting. resisting. I'm not resisting, bro. What Stop. are you doing? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. I'm not doing nothing. Stop. What are you doing? What are you doing? Get out. 
Christy. Put your hand out. So I tell him, I'm like, hey, will you step out and talk to me? He kind of pulls up. So I walk up to the car. I was like, hey, man, that's good. Stop. So I was like, hey, step out and talk to me. Won't step out. So you I was like, driving? Yeah. So I'm like, hey, I need to talk to you. I'm going to read you your rights real quick. You're not going to jail. Read him his rights. Talking to him, asking him about her. I'm like, hey, is there anything illegal in the car? Because I smell weed. He's like, no. I was like, is there any marijuana in the car? He was like, I got my card. I was like, is there any marijuana in the car? He's like, yeah, probably. I was like, okay, I need you to step out of the car. I'm not stepping out. I said, I'm going to tell you again. I need you to step out of the car because I'm searching the vehicle or you're going to go to jail for resisting. I'm not stepping out. I was like, one more time, get out of the car or you're going to jail. He starts rolling the window up, so I tased him. Search for us his car. He was reaching towards the seat, and I thought he was going for a gun. Probably. He was. He kept going back towards the seat. Uh, I don't know. I lost it. I just said. Yeah, he's on the phone. Uh, you hit him twice. Yeah, because I I hit him once, but he he had rolled the window up, and I didn't know if the leads broke. So when I opened the door, I hit him again. Because he kept reaching down towards here. And I was like, uh-uh. We ain't doing that. Plus, the door looked locked. I was really freaking out. But it wasn't locked, apparently, because I got it open. Yeah. Good? Yeah. Just a little fucking. My adrenaline's up here because he kept reaching out of that seat, and I thought he was going to get a gun. Oh. What is it? There is a gun? Yep, oh. <laughs> I fucking told you, dude. I'm telling you, I, my hairs were standing up on the back of my yeah, neck. Yeah, that's on passenger side, though, but yeah. I knew something was not right. Well, if he's reaching like towards the passenger He just side? kept reaching down. It's, and he I rolled mean, that window up, so I couldn't it. see. You can get it from that side. He could have been putting it over there while he was reaching down. I'm telling you, man, I knew something was not right. I just had that feeling. And when he kept reaching down... Is that 43? I think so. Was it 43? 43X. Uh, no, he just picked me up because I asked him for a ride in my house. I'm at Portland right now. I, I don't know. You don't know. 
I'm going to just go ahead and give you all a heads up. Your 17-year-old daughter was just with a 29-year-old man that had a gun in the car and likely was reaching the pool with Aliyah. So, deal with that how you see fit. He's convicted felon. Sorry about this, but thank you. Get a ride. Sorry, my hands are a little sweaty. You're fine, bud. Yeah, y'all have a good night. Mm -hmm. I thought you were my son. Come on, tell him, hey, mom, we're late for work. I didn't know it would be out. Just play it out the way it is. Yeah. I'm glad it you're sorry. It could have been a lot worse. Yes, absolutely. That's the one of the lot of the morning. I didn't mean to know it would be out. I thought you were my son. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I had got her out of the car prior to that. So, she was at least out of the way. Alright, stay right there. Alright, so you've already been read your rights. You advise you're willing to talk to me, correct? Okay. Um, let's talk about the firearm. Um. Yes. The one in your car, which is registered to you. You don't know. You're driving a car that's registered to you with a gun in it. And you just don't know. No? Within your reach, quite literally where you kept reaching as I was snatching you out of the car and telling you not to reach. Listen, I was reaching for my notebook, my registration, my phone. Why were you reaching for your notebook and your registration when I was telling you to get out of the car? That's all I had on my lap. Okay, why'd you roll the window up when I was telling you to get out of the car? I was understanding my rights as long as you can hear me. I was okay to sit where I was. So when I'm actively ordering you out of the vehicle, advising you, you will be arrested. You thought it was okay to roll your tinted windows up to where I cannot see you. You thought that was okay. And then actively fight me while I'm pulling you out of the car. I didn't fight you, so I put my hands on my side. No, you did not. You continued to reach back into the car towards beneath your seat. No, never that. In which I repeatedly told you to stop reaching. No, I haven't. And then, done. as we got outside the car, you continued to fight me. I had everything on my lap, sir. Everything I was reaching for was right there on my lap. My registration. Okay, my and when, I'm, when we were fighting and got near the back door of the car, why did you continue to go towards the driver's side? What do you, what do you mean? Exactly what I just asked you. I was trying to get my registration and my paperwork. That's Instead of complying with the officer that was actively in a physical altercation with you. You thought you still need to get your registration when a cop is fighting you physically, on the ground, ordering you to put your hands behind your back and to stop fighting. Yes, I had everything on my lap. I didn't understand what the reason for all that was. My hands are right there where you can see. I rolled the window down so you can see me. I had already advised you what the reason was for. I told you to get out of the car multiple times. I explained to you why you needed to get out of the car. I was informed and that. And advised you that you would be arrested if you refused to get out of the car. I gave you numerous opportunities. I was just informed by my lawyer that I didn't have to speak or answer any questions until you arrived. Okay, well, um, you're under arrest for resisting with violence, possession of a firearm by a convicted felon, 